Hello, it's time to take another look at an update from Suno and uh, as usual I've come in and seen that new stuff has shown up in the UI so I wanted to do a quick video to show you what those changes are. Um, if you'll see up the top here I'm unsure why I can't click on it unless perhaps maybe we need to yeah we need to type some text in there. So we've got a new option unless I haven't noticed it before uh, to be able to create your own song but uh, what's really changed is if we come in here and have a look at the UI for where you're putting in your prompts and your guidance and all those kinds of things. So you'll see if we have a look, um, the ability to title the song is up the top here. Uh, and that is also the space where we can select the model that's kind of in the same place. In here we have the option that if you want to use the simple controls you can roll the dice and it will give you some suggestions for the style you can do the song in and down here you'll see you've got the options uh, and one of my preferred bits that's turned up is the ability to refresh that and sort of find another set of options that you can select from. This is really good if you're sick of making the same kind of song and you want to get some new styles going. Um, and if you want to just do instrumental you've got your own off there. This bit you'll see reflected in other parts of the UI changes is the ability for the screen to uh, basically in that style prompt area um, expand which if you're using the old UI um, you may have got the experience that I had which is when you were typing the suggestion options were uh, sitting over the top of the text so you couldn't see if you'd made something like a spelling mistake or you wanted to remove something. There was a little bit of um, inability to see what was going on there. So that's in the simple part. If we go over to the um, custom, that's where we see a little bit more complexity. So you can write your lyrics and that's, you know, you've got all your stuff in there where you put your text. Um, and the auto option is where we've got some other stuff going on. So. If you haven't used the by line option, you'll see you get a prompt here uh, where you can uh, put uh, what you like and it says add four lines about this. I'm just going to put in, let's put in cars, simple spelling, always better for me. So it will go and essentially create that verse for you. Not 100% sure why it's created verse three. Um, and you'll see down here, if you want to um, create these lyrics, you can only use the classic model if you're doing line by line. Um, you can come in here and you can save changes uh, or you can keep writing additional um, line by line prompts. So that's the line by line option. Um, then you've got full song. So in here, if we type in um, cows, um, you can choose between the classic lyrics model and uh, the Remy one. Um, I'll just do that and you'll see when it writes lyrics it'll create you two option sets for you to be able to select and then you get to choose your option and go on from there so uh, I'm not going to run this but in this case I've just selected that first one um, once again you've got instrumental so you can uh, choose that and it will close up the lyrics but you've also got a very easy to see area where you can extend that text box in the styles, um, once again, you can type in, um, uh, you can see on this one here, I've put in uh, Moody Grunge Rock Lament. Um, you can type in that yourself, or you'll see here you've got the alt drop down for selections. Um, and as you select, it actually changes the options you want to um, choose from, but you can hit that refresh and get another set um, to come to your attention. Then uh, here's where we find something kind of interesting. So we've got this more options area, excluding styles. If you haven't seen that before or haven't used it, um, that's basically if you've got something in there you don't really like and you want to remove uh, a male powerful voice. Um, I had a little bit of experience where I'm not 100% sure how well that always works. Uh, but this is the interesting bit. So we've got um, adding audio. So you can upload your own song. You've got a maximum of 120 seconds that you can upload or you can record audio yourself. Uh, this is not something I use uh, generally, but uh, if you are a musician, this is a great place to put it in and then make adjustments to your song. Uh, the other one is adding a persona. So you'll see we've got the My Personas. Um, you also have the uh, option to 
um, favorite a persona and you can see if you click on this just to sort of streamline your list a little um, you get that now this is the really interesting bit you can save your prompt so saving your prompt is uh, this bit here but also it seems the the text up here now you can just do that as um, the reused prompt option uh, but when I saved it, I wasn't 100% sure where it went. And that's where we get this option down here, the plus option. Now, interestingly, it still has add persona. It still has add audio, but it has a list of your prompts. And I haven't actually saved these ones. These are just my recent prompts uh, that I have been using in the system. So this is uh, that song I've got showing up there. If I use that, you'll see it um, has put the lyrics in here. And it's also taken, uh, not the full one from what I did last time, but actually it saved this one here. Um, and I wonder if that's because I've given it a thumbs up. So that's what that plus button does. And over here we can choose which lyric model uh, we want to generate the song with. And also which uh, lyrics model <laughs> um, we want to choose to create it if we do the auto create. So that's a look at the change in this part of the UI. For me, that's going to be very helpful. Mostly, um, really, the big part is going to be that style option and having that visibility um, where the suggestions show up and cleaning that. But as you can see, uh, Sooner are always making adjustments and changes. Uh, hopefully, you find benefit from them. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you again soon with something new and interesting that comes our way. Thanks.